Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms and going to be working with the incubator today. Got some peafowl eggs in there and had done a uh, video on them. Just basically uh, kind of getting them set up as a new incubator since the other one wasn't working. But uh, needed to candle them on about the five, seven day mark. Today is the 10 day mark. So I'm going to be doing that in just a little bit. We've got them set up in the bathroom right now just uh basically because we're watching them make, making sure they're good but what i did just get in the mail and am kind of excited about that is i've got uh some pheasant eggs some ringneck pheasant eggs you can see right here uh av bird hatchery and hatchery and Lancaster, California. Shipping took a couple of days, so hopefully they're still good. They seem to be packed all right. We're going to open them up, take a look at them, and pop them in the incubator. Now, first thoughts, opening them up, because hatching eggs are kind of hit or miss. You never know if they're going to be packed right, uh, what kind of success you're going to get. Seem to be packed okay, actually. Got a little uh, religious pamphlet in there. You know, hey, nothing wrong, I guess, if you want to pass on uh, pass on your religion, as long as you don't shove it down my throat. But uh, they're packed in uh, foam. They actually seem to be packed pretty good here. I'm going to do the same thing I did with the peafowl legs, is I'm going to put an X on one side and an O on the other, so that way I can make sure that the egg turner is turning them correctly. And I'm going to grab a pencil, do that, and set them up in the incubator. All right, so we have them all in here. Today is the 19th of July, and I've got everything with O pointing up, and then I've got the date of 19 on there as well. So uh, we'll watch, make sure everything's turning okay, and then also, you know, watch and see what kind of hatch rate we've got. Uh, I'll send a link on uh, not only eBay where I bought these eggs at, but uh, also an ink to this incubator that I'm using. If I get a good uh, hatch rate out of these, which I'll be making a few more videos, then, uh, you know, something, if you're looking at them, you might consider this incubator or this company. If uh, the hatch rate is bad, well, then you might consider a different company or a different kind of incubator. It's Matt from McGee Farms. If you enjoy the videos, please consider giving us a thumbs up, maybe subscribing to the channel, leaving us a comment. Everything's appreciated, and it's always, uh, always helps the channel grow. Till next time, have a great day.